Hey, what's going on everybody? Tom from Tom'sGoldDirt.com. I just got something in the mail, so let's check it out. Okay, so as promised, I got a package in the mail today. I busted open the end of the box and I can see there's a bag inside of there. Let's dump it out. This came from my good friend Gary from Maryland. So let's see what we got. It looks like we got some duct tape, some plastic bag, looks like some kind of paper. Oh, and some dirt. Well, I'm going to bust this open here in a little bit, pan it out, and see how he did. I'll bring you along for the journey when I get to panning it out. I'm going to check out this letter. So, Gary, thanks a lot. Truly appreciate it. Okay, everybody. So, real quick, I just want to show you guys how I season this brand new pan. So, you first, you obviously got to be in a sink with water. You want to get a good sponge. Uh, generally speaking, gold, from what I can tell, is most attracted um, to, you know, you know, better quality seasoning. So I do a little garlic, um, you know, pepper, uh, you just don't know. It depends on the gold, I guess, what part of the country you're in. So give it a little pepper. And I know in Ohio, for some reason, some reason, uh, a good friend of mine, the same guy that sent me this dirt, this Golden Ohio seems to really, really get down with some some of that right there for some reason. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, so that's exactly what I like to use. And then always you got to top it off with this electrolyte rich pink salt. And uh, now you know how to properly season your pan. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed that part, but if you watch this really sped up version of how I actually do it, you'll see that all you really need to do, put some Dawn dish soap in there, get, get hot, hot water, basically you're just trying to get the residues off the pan, and scuff the surface. You'll see here, uh, like I said, I use a scotch, it's like a cheap scotch Bright pad, and just scruff it up as good as you can while cleaning out that oily residue, and uh, that's basically how you really actually have to season your pan. Okay, so we got the the dirt from Gary out in Maryland. We've got our pan seasoned, well seasoned, and uh, let's just see what's in it. That's a pretty nice little piece of gold. That's the first pan. Look at that. He's got way better gold than I do in Ohio. <laughs> That's four pieces of gold in the first little pan. Okay, I don't know if it'll pick it up, but there's a couple little tiny micros right in there. So pan two has a little bit in it. All right, so we're getting ready for pan number three. some very deceptive mica there's some gold in this pan there's a gold speck I don't know if it'll pick it up for you there right there oh. yeah you can see it it's right there this is a hundred percent for fun so I'm not trying to get a, a return on investment this was free and truly greatly appreciated there's another nice speck right there
and another one right there the glare is terrible right there there's two right beside each other okay so here's the last pan this is pan number four that was a good two and a half three pounds of material i'm sure uh it was good stuff too so far i found quite a bit of gold Look at all that stuff three specks in there as well so every pan's had gold in it pretty awesome if I do say so myself he's got some micro gold over there just like I do but he's got some chunkier stuff I don't find much of that chunky stuff everybody else that comes to my secret spots finds the chunky stuff but me okay so here's the results thank you so much Gary I truly appreciate it I hope that you find some gold in the stuff that I sent you back. And uh, that's pretty incredible that that comes out of there. And with what you guys are only limited to work with, that's I'd be happy with that any day of the week, even here in my spot. That's almost 20 colors and two and a half pounds of material. I don't know that it would be able to tip the scale, but it is absolutely awesome. So, thank you so much, Gary. I really appreciate it. All right, so everybody, that concludes this episode of Tom's Gold Dirt. You can see Slate in the background, as he always has to. He has to make his appearance. Uh, I ended up finding 19 colors in, you know, probably... Um, don't drink that water, Slate. Probably, I don't know, two or three pounds of dirt. Um, so, if that's any indication of the ground you're on, sir, it's phenomenal. Um because I would be happy with that all day, every day. Um, thank you to all the people who participated in uh, the charity thing the other day. It was just incredible. And both of the winners donated uh, their gifts back. And so I just it goes to show you what kind of community this is. So that's fantastic. Um, thank you so much again, Gary, for sending me this dirt. It was absolutely a true blast to pan out as you guys watched. It's taken me like three days to make this video, believe it or not. It's so cold outside right now or I'd probably try to make a trip to the creek tonight. Um, I couldn't even pan in the garage. My hands would hurt so bad if I was out there panning right now. But uh, in the laundry room, as you can hear, the furnace kicking on. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Say thank you so much to everybody out there who is a member of the Gold Prospecting Mailbox Prospecting community. Uh, the channel, we're about to hit 900 subscribers. Once we hit 1,000, one YouTuber is going to get a quarter of an ounce of gold. A quarter of an ounce of gold and one subscriber is going to get a tenth of an ounce of gold so we're getting there and we're gonna get there but if you haven't already go subscribe to Gary uh, Gary Prohaska um, his channel will be linked down below and show him some some appreciation for sending me this dirt so I can make another video for you all besides for just saying hey go get your Tom's gold dirt right uh, I hope you enjoyed the little little clips and snips and uh, we will see you on the next one so gold luck God bless have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on the next one.